Hello, I'm Kai. Uh, this is my first Python lesson, and uh, today we're going to be learning how to uh, do step by step hello world print and input and all this stuff. And I hope you enjoy the video and learn as well a lot. So, first, I kind of think that for a install Python, if you have not, then it's in the link in the description down below. And in the next videos, we're going to be doing more and more and more stuff that are going to get harder and harder and harder from going now print all the way to turtle which or pie game even if you watch these videos now yes you'll learn a lot hopefully and so you go here you open your iso python like this and as you can see on top here it's a shell what a shell means is basically like a small compartment where it keeps stuff but it's not that safe so that means if you go here to do your stuff and start your programming click new file here file again and click save then you are to your file explorer you can then write whatever you want to call it i'm just going to call it greeting uh, then when we broke down this, it's down, then now we, here's where we program. Is a, in the show, you can only do one line. For this one line, I can write, hello world. Hello world is basically start of every programming thing that you do. You cannot really go down, but you can click enter and then it shows what the result is. So you can play around with this. Print this, that, and that. And you might be asking, well, Kai, why do you even need to have these quotation marks? Well, this program Python, first it checks here, print is going to print something down, like our hello world here. But then there are these stuff that tells Python what to look at. Quotations, strings, where you can write text, like for example this, it sees this text, and like you put puzzle pieces together basically. Print is being used for the stuff that are in the bracket, which is a string. And then you get the output. You can also write down here, print, and then write down a different one, which is not a string, but is an integer. And an integer basically does not need quotation marks. It does not really need anything. You can just write it down. And then, if you enter, then it prints it. If you go out of your idle shell, and you can go here to your uh, new file, you can call it whatever you want, but you're never allowed any symbols, like, for example, even the star sign. Be sure always to write in your keyboard, Control S, so when it's saved, you can always see if it's not saved, then there's a star on top. And if it's saved, then there's no more star. See that? Look on top here where it says greeting. I write something new, there's a star. I write control S, then there's no more star because it's saved. Or you can just kind of unsave it. And now you can just go here, save here, and then it's done. And save. And here, you can write down your print. And then we can say hello world again here. After you have that you can not do as many lines you want you can always click enter and nothing will happen just even if you want you can copy this and then add this down here you can be as creative as you want here except you're not allowed to do this which would not work why actually wouldn't this work you see python sees this as it like he does not even know what it is like when we see this like do you know what this means if you do, then write in the comments. But this here, how do you know what this means? Same with Python. It does not know what this means here. Hello world. Then, when we add these quotation marks, then stuff gets more interesting. Python looks at it and says, if there's a quotation mark. It's a string. Wait, let me check. Here, it starts here. And continue. Oh, here's the second one. That means everything that's in here is a string. Then there's the thing that it needs to do. For example, print needs to print this. That's why there are these brackets, because it needs to print the stuff that's inside the brackets. So it's print. Okay, what should I print? Oh, there's a bracket. 
go all the way into our next bracket and then you know that it's there. To run it, you click on run, you can click run module or you can click F5 and just click on it and then it already starts the uh, program. Then here, you can get really creative with this. You can even say, okay, let's just say right boots and then save it or save control S and then we can run it by clicking F5 and then we got hello world, hello world boots. You can do a lot of stuff with this, but um, for now I'm going to quickly let you do these printing and if you're done then write in the comments, pause the video now, then I'll see what your results are and just copy everything and then send it to me in the comments like this. And there's also a fun thing you can do with Python. You can copy stuff and then paste them five bazillion times. Then what do you think will happen if we start it? Well, it'll print it five bazillion times. Well, as you might have known or maybe not, I am in a YouTube channel called The Quantum Kid and there we are talking about quantum and how those computers are faster than these normal computers that like I'm using. And you can watch that channel. I would really like if you watch those videos. Also watch the webinars that my mom's doing. It's on the same channel, The Quantum Kid. And okay, now enough yapping. Here we are going to go to the bottom, erase everything. And please, when you write these stuff in the comments, don't give me something big like this. Uh, if you want to uh, undo stuff, then you should click Control Z. Then it goes back. And I can do Control All and then Control X and then it's all gone. We can also talk to the computer. Like, not, not really yet, but kind of. So do you write? input here you can write an input and stuff like for example say how for now hell world now look what happens if i run it here it says hello world same thing now since you have this what you can do is you can write stuff write for example hello hi so I did tell you this before, but we're also learning variables. Well, do you know what a variable is? Well, a variable is basically a storage area. Imagine having like a bank. In the bank, there are a lot of stuff, including Python information. To make variables for our bank, we're going to call this variable bank. After that, you can put an equal there. And now bank is now a variable. Also make it nicer and have spaces here, which would be nicer to look at. And now if we write print, uh, also for variables, we don't need quotation marks. Here you can write print bank. Then what do you think will happen? So we start the program, then we got the inputs. We can write stuff down. I'm going to quickly for a space here, so I'm going to have space to write. It says hello world, and then it's going to print bank. What do you think it'll print? Do you think it'll print this? Or do you think it'll print this? Just to be sure, this hello world is going to be hello world 1. And then what we're going to type down is going to be hello world 2. And now we're going to save it. So you can see stars going to disappear. Then we're going to run it. Then we got hello world 1. We write down hello world 2. Now, if we click enter, what do you think will happen? In three, two, one, got your answer. Let's check. All right, hello world two. This happens because what's stored inside the bank is, well, the variable bank. Then there's a person who stops you and says, that, okay, so now you need to write down how much money you want to get. And then you write down the amount of money then the money is stored inside the bank so that means that this here is a person this whole input is a person and the bank is basically where all your money is stored so that means i can write down here bank bank tell something like that then after that 
I'm gonna run it. Then we probably will space extract. We save. Now let me click F5. Now it says bank teller. Bank teller is asking me something. Now I need to apply. And I'm going to say I want to have 100 francs. I'm living in Switzerland, so it's francs. For you, it might be dollars or euros. Then I enter. And then the bank has the amount of money. Then I can write here, currency bank. Well, now, what do you think will happen? Okay, here, get your answers in three, two, one. Okay, so the answer is, it gives you an invalid sign text. Perhaps you forgot to coma. Yes, I know, that's the problem. It does not work. With the currency, you want to have a string. The bank, you want to have a variable. Oh, well, here's the easy fix. First, we're going to do this here. That's our first option. going to do this with having quotations at the bank text. And then we can do commas. And then currency is a string. And then, so the currency now is a string. And the variable is a bank. Now, what do you think will happen? Get your answers down. Three, two, one. Okay. Now, answer is bank till or ask me how much money. Then I can write 100 francs. Then the currency is 100 francs. It worked. Yippee! We can also do this if I start here. Then now it should ask me I'm going to have 9 bazillion, whatever, I don't know, francs. And it's going to say currency is 9 bazillion francs. I don't say the currency is that amount. The second option you can do is turn this into an F string. F at the really start. Then you put two commas everywhere. And this is just the way how I do it with these uh, stuff putting variables inside. I use commas and I block off the string here. Currency, this amount of francs then. And then when I save it and then run it, then this bank teller asks, how much money do you have? I got 6,604. Then I enter and the currency is 6,604 francs. If you've done a program like this, then please, I'm telling you, Please, can you send it inside the, in the comments and tell me what your result is? And you can then copy it and send it to me. Then I'll see it. It's, whoa, you've done this. And then I'll paste it. I'll see if it's correct. And I'll test it out even. And I'll play it. And I'll see what you've done here. You can name the variables different. You can do a lot of stuff with Python. If you want to learn more, then please. Subscribe to our channel, The Quantum Kids, and also don't forget to like the video. And I hope you enjoyed the video today, and and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.